We're getting our exercise. I think we need to No. I'm done with this bottle. I'll put it on it. Everything else, the Lord's Yeah. I'm paying this. Somebody wants some? As long as I've got a little wine, I don't need water. That's right. Elaine? Thank you. There you go. I was watching on uh, Channel 40 this afternoon uh, The Three Musketeers. Oh. With uh, the old, the original. Uh, it had Van Heflin in it. And uh, uh, that had to have been the original. No, no. Not quite. This was a 50s version. Right. June Allison. Well, that one before was Lana Turner. Yeah. 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 My redemption is not a Black and white? I ask you no, color. Gene Kelly. Right. Well, they colored. Gene Kelly. Color. Color. Good one. Great. That one. Great D'Artagnan. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, oh, I think he was Van Heflin. Van Heflin played Porthos. And he had been knocked unconscious. And so, and it was quite a good thing. Yeah, of course the movie. Yeah, thing. <laughs> and so D'Artagnan to wake him up. They're trying to, you know, bam, bam, bam. He's not waking up. He's got knocked on the head. So he picks up a, a, a glass of light in the water and throws it at him. And Quarkos goes, "Water? You can at least throw wine." <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah. laughs> that was a cute movie. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it was fun movie. They were fun movies back then. They were. There's nothing fun today. Everything is blow somebody up, shoot somebody. Right. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Love that. Special effect. Whoa. I know. I don't. So who cares? We go to the and and nudity or sex just for the impact of it rather than. Well, I have a cousin. You know Joey Lando who played in uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Man? Yeah. Well, he's a woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was the husband of her. My cousin, and he's now, I just went back to my other cousin. Uh, he's now on TV again, and he's uh, on, I don't even know what channel it's going to be, on different cables. It's called The Circle, The Secret Circle. Producer. He knows how to get a picture. And it's, um, you got to show me some of the pictures of that ball. I will. I saw it last night. I recorded it. Well, tell us It's on Thursday. Are you, are you Jewish Cox? I'm on uh, direct. And it's a work here. Oh, he's taking a picture all the way around. There is a story. Madge, send an email out. That is funny. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. Great idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's so he doesn't have to be turning when he gets Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, get around the joint. We'll all say happy birthday, Joe. Oh, there you go. All right. There's Joe. There's Janice. Okay, there's Joe. There's the birthday boy. Ready? Birthday shot. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you.
a lot of brave people, men and women in the family. I think the women probably are the bravest of the bunch. Yeah, it took me a long time to figure that out. Uh, good friends, great memories. God bless you all and thank you very much for being here. I'm, I'm honored and proud to have everyone. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Saluda gentile. Uh, what did I tell you about birthday you parties today, Jordan? I know, I know, she I know. Said, get me a I told her. <laughs> what did it sound like? I told Georgia that uh, I only, we celebrated the 60th. Yeah. And then they are celebrating the 80th, and I'm not going to have another one for the 100th. So that's the way it goes. <laughs> All right. I hope, I hope everyone here can we'll join be here. Right. We'll, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. My gosh, you'll all be here. Oh, all right. She brings up a good point. It'll be more important to have names than that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> then we ought to wear them. Yeah. <laughs> What's my name? Huh? They'll need to be printed a little yeah. larger, though. Yeah, printed. Yes. Well, we'll only have half as many because. We'll have to have our keepers with us. Oh, yeah. Doubles yeah. the number. Right. Yeah, twice as many. Twice as many. Twice as many. Yeah. Twice as many. yeah. As one of the women in, uh, in menopause last night, the, the four ladies were meeting for lunch. And um, they're all looking at the menu, and the one who is the hippie of the group, I can't remember the 60s because she can't remember. <laughs> And she's got the shot. menu and she's looking like this, and then she's looking like this, and she's putting it out as far as she can get it, and then she hands it to the next lady, and she picks it up, and they're pulling it further and further away, she says, ah, tomato! Wow. <laughs> I finally made out one word! <laughs> Did you go know yesterday? Oh, last night. Thank you, Peter. We're going to have a story. We're going to take you. I have a story. story. Oh, Joe's got a it's story. A okay, little, story. Just a little joke. And now that everybody's finished, if you don't like the joke, you can leave. <laughs> but thank you to Peter. Uh, this is a, a little play, political commentary. And Paula in England, he goes into this old shop. And he, he knows the joke. So he yeah, just, he and Midge know the okay. joke. Okay, he and Midge know the joke. Okay, and uh, he goes into the shop and he's looking around and he sees this statue this mouse. It's kind of an interesting thing asking the shopkeeper, how much is the mouse? The, mouse, uh, the shopkeeper says, well, the mouse is only uh, 10 pounds, but the story that goes with it is 100 pounds. He says, well, okay, I'll just, if you want both of you. He says, no, I'll just take the mouse. Thank you very much. He takes the mouse and he starts out and goes, starts going down the street. Pretty soon, the little mouse comes out of the cracks on the and starts falling down the street. Goes another block and the crowd's getting bigger. Another block, two, the crowd's getting bigger. He kind of wanders the neighborhood after he's gone about a half mile or so. Just, I mean, the, the street's just black with cracks. So, he says, oh God, yeah, what the heck am I going to do? And he happens to be down near the river. I, just, I can't take this anymore and takes this map, throws it in the river, all the mice follow this statue right into the river and drown, kind of like the lemons off the cliff. And he runs back to, he goes back to the store the next day, and the shopkeeper looks at him, he comes in the door and says, do you want, he says, oh, you want to buy the story too? He says, no, but he says, do you have any statues that look like the president? Oh wow. Thank you, Peter. Here, 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 Pete. I've got i got a most of us will. I've got a sticker on the back of my my car. A friend of mine that I grew up with. Worked in a company that, that made bumper stickers and campaign things and all this stuff. 
and he sent me this sticker. And it's about kind of like that, and it's a great big white O. Real bright. And right under the O in small letters, it says shit. <laughs> So, so, so I've had so many people come up and say, look at me, I think I'm a Obama fan, they walk up and say, ooh. So my grandson the other day says, Grandpa, why do you have that stick in your car? Because he can read now, and he saw that. Even the fine print, huh? I didn't know there was an O in that word.